Hello everybody, how have you been guys? Starting the new year with the first video and there's nothing better than read aloud to start with. As you can see in this slide, read aloud the super strategy. Today, quickly, I will show you what you have to do to get a very high score in read aloud. When it comes to this task, this is the most important point. To get a high score in read aloud, you need to convince and satisfy Pearson's recognition engine that your speech is clear and accurate, smooth and fluent. Those are the two criteria that must be met so that the Pearson's recognition engine is satisfied that your read aloud is spot on. Today and quickly I will show you in one slide what do I mean by clear and accurate, what do I mean by smooth and fluent, and the second part will be a practical part to show you how those criteria are met. Let's get started. Clear and accurate speech. Probably I have discussed those in my previous videos, you can get back to them, but quickly in one minute. To make sure that your speech is clear and accurate, you need to avoid insertion, omission or replacement of any word. Just speak the words as they must be spoken. Secondly, the sounds must be clearly produced. Like sometimes you try to speak the words properly, but you have some issues with some sounds. For example, if you remember in my video, probably last month, I was, wait, I was talking about the difference between saying wait and wet. Wait, wet. And this is an issue that some students from Asia could struggle with. Or shell and sell. Yeah, the sound sh and the sound s. Okay, this will end up changing your content and you're not meeting this criterion, the clear and accurate speech. Another aspect is related to the syllable stress. You need to make sure that in a word the syllables are stressed properly. Let's take this example, this word. Like how to read it? Do we say address or address? Which one is correct? Both of them are correct, but there is a different meaning between address and address. Address is a noun, and you can see that the stress is on the first syllable, address, address. While address, address, the stress is on the second syllable, and this is a verb. So just imagine if you change the syllable stress, the function of the word or its meaning could be different. So you need to make sure that those uh, aspects are addressed properly. And yes, I do have a lot of videos about those points, but as I mentioned, I need to make this video very practical at the end. The second criterion, so we talked about this one, the second criterion is to have a smooth and fluent speech. Smooth and fluent speech means there should be no hesitations, no unnecessary long pauses, no repetitions, no thinking noises, mm, uh, mm, mm, and so on. And the most important part is to speak in phrases. That's very important. This is a game changer. Speaking in phrases means you speak from one point to another in a connected speech, like a machine gun, yeah, non-stop. Then you reach a point where you have to stop, breathe, recharge, refill the lungs with oxygen and speak back to the computer. Something like this. Imagine this is point A, this is point B. So you speak from here to here in one go, non-stop. Then you could find a full stop or a comma here. You stop, you breathe if possible, then you speak back to the computer and so on. So phrase by phrase and within the phrase the speech has to be connected. And this is what will help you to achieve the fluent and smooth speech. And please guys, take the advantage of the poses. Make sure when you give a pose, you need to breathe, yeah? Take a breath, why not? You need to refill your lungs with the oxygen. Because if you don't have oxygen here, you can't speak. The sounds coming out of your mouth are a result of an interaction between the vocal cords and the air here. If there is no air, you can't trigger this interaction. If there is no oxygen in your brain, you can't concentrate. You end up making some mistakes that you could easily avoid if you have some oxygen. So please make sure when you have a full stop, you stop. Just imagine you are driving and you have a red light. What do you do at the red light here in Australia? What do we do? We have to stop. If we don't stop, you could get a fine or worst case scenario, a crash. Yeah. So please, 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 please make sure when you speak, you speak in phrases from A to B, you stop, you breathe, B to C and so on. All right. So those are the two criteria that we must uh, follow or we must satisfy so that we get a high score in the speaking. Let's make it more practical. Take a look here. 
So how to satisfy Pearson's recognition engine. This is a uh, read aloud. You can see those signs or indicators here. Uh, just indicate that I will give a pause. And it looks like this is a pause because of the comma. Here it is because of the full stop and so on. And you will see later now when I read it in one go that from the word occupational all the way till physical, yeah, I'm speaking non-stop. I try to connect my speech, yeah. Then I will pause here and so on. Take a listen. Occupational therapy helps people of all ages who have physical, sensory or cognitive problems. It can help them regain independence in all areas of their lives. Occupational therapists help with barriers that affect a person's emotional, social and physical needs. They also help kids to improve their school performance and aid their daily activities. It also boosts their self-esteem and sense of accomplishment. Done. So you probably heard me reading in one go between the phrases, yeah? Then I pause here. And here at the full stop, it was very clear that I did take a breath. Because if I had not done this, I wouldn't have been able to speak in a connected speech within the phrase here. Uh, there is one important point, like take a look at the word accomplishment. I took long time to speak it out because it has got too many syllables. It's a long word. And if you remember from the word stress lesson I did give recently, I said the longer the words or the words with more syllables need more time to be spoken out. Yes, a word like help, help, help. It's a one syllable word, yeah? yeah it could be produced easily and quickly. But a word like accomplishment or occupational you need to take longer time yeah so that you make sure they are clear and accurate enough uh, just one thing here you probably have noticed that I did give a pause between boosts and there and this pause is just because of the consonant clusters I've got this is a bit advanced lesson but let's have it you see the word boosts ends with three consonant letters this is called a consonant cluster there starts with a consonant so we have got two words meeting with a big consonant cluster as you see and unfortunately there is no rule or clear rule when it comes to connected speech to be applied here so as a native speaker or a native like speaker you need to give a very little pause to ensure the smoothness of expression like when you move from one word to another it is smooth enough because if you don't give it you end up probably dropping the S at the end and you would say boost there, which is wrong. You have to say boosts there. I'm going to stop a very, very short pause. Yeah. So this is an example of how I'm going to satisfy Pearson's recognition engine. I spoke in one go between the phrases. Uh, I did apply connected speech where possible. I did apply the sentence level stress. The word stress was applied perfectly. Accomplishment, improve, performance. Yeah. And so on. Another example. Take a look here. Same thing, I will probably give you 40 seconds if you want to do it on your own. I will be preparing for a couple of seconds as well, then we will read it together. I'll probably take less than 40 seconds to prepare. Okay, let's give it a go. Minerals are important for your body to stay healthy. Your body uses minerals for many different jobs, including keeping your muscles, heart and brain working properly. Minerals are also important for making enzymes and hormones. Most people get the amount of minerals they need by eating a wide variety of foods. If the intake is not enough, doctors may recommend a mineral supplement. Done. So I've done the same as here. I did speak from minerals all the way to healthy in one go. I tried to maintain a connected speech while speaking every single word accurately then i gave a pause then i spoke from your body all the way till jobs then the pause here was a bit short so usually the full stop is the place where you have to pause or you could pause for up to one second and recharge refill the lungs with oxygen so that you can speak back to the computer fluently and smoothly and for the word stress here i was saying supplement recommend important yeah so the longer the words, the more the time you spend to clear it out of your mouth so that you make sure they are clear and accurate. Because again, guys, no one could get you the score. No template could get you the score. It doesn't matter how many times you give the test. Unless your speech is clear and accurate, smooth and fluent. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. Yeah, let's go to the last slide. Yeah, this one. 
Thank you guys for joining and watching uh, this short lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and wait me with other lessons and happy new year once again.